Certain kinds of insects lead social lifestyles. Ants, bees, wasps, and termites live together in large groups called colonies that feature several generations of adults who perform different tasks. Some help with reproduction, others protect the colony, and others gather food. In a way, they form their own societies, and in this edition of All Bugged Out, we'll get to know how these societies work. In a colony of insects, adults are divided into two main groups, reproductive and non-reproductive. Usually, there will only be one female that lays eggs, and this is the queen. In addition to reproducing, a queen insect also produces chemicals that prevent other females in a colony from laying eggs of their own. The queen can live an amazingly long life for an insect. An ant queen may live to be 30 years old, while some termite queens can live 50 to 60 years. If a queen suddenly dies, the effects are different for each species. A colony of ants cannot survive without its queen. Therefore, if a queen dies, so will the rest of the colony. On the other hand, if a queen bee or termite dies, a new one will take its place. Termite colonies are unique because they have a king as well as a queen. The king is the only male who mates with the queen. After forming a colony, the king and queen termites spend the rest of their lives in a special chamber. Not only are they the only reproductive adults, they are also the only ones that have functioning eyes. Non-reproductive insects are divided into two groups, soldiers and workers. Insect workers perform many essential tasks, such as gathering food, leafcutter ants, marching in a single file as they bring leaves to their colony, are a perfect example of workers at their most diligent. They can be thought of as the farmers of the colony. Worker bees fly from flower to flower, take nectar back to their hive, and make it into honey. The construction of the nest is another important function of workers, Fire ants push up soil as they tunnel underground, resulting in nests which we call mounds. Many species of termites in South America, Africa, and Australia build even larger mounds that look a lot like chimneys, and termites aren't the only species that benefit from them. Elephants enjoy giving themselves back rubs against these sturdy structures. Insect workers may go their whole lives without reproducing, but they play a vital role in caring for larvae. For all the eggs a queen lays, she would certainly need help. Worker bees called nurses produce a milky secretion called royal jelly, which they feed to the queen's larvae. Insect soldiers, on the other hand, serve only one purpose, to protect the colony from predators. Soldiers are considerably bigger than workers. While the workers busy themselves with their daily tasks, the soldiers keep a vigilant watch. Different types of insect soldiers have different defense mechanisms. Some bite or sting, while others shoot acid from their abdomens. Despite this, many animals have adapted counter-defense mechanisms of their own. Anteaters, for example, enjoy a diet of ants and termites, and they have thick fur to protect them from insect attacks. As you can see, these insects form societies that are, in some ways, very much like our own. The next time you see a beehive or an anthill, maybe you'll see it from a different perspective. Be sure to subscribe for more Wildlife Chronicles. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on our next adventure.